This is Josh Mason from With You With Me. So I'm not going to take you too much through what a virtual machine is. I'll link to uh, Network Chuck. He's got a whole video on it. It's great. It's long. It's involved. Quick and dirty. You need a, a hypervisor. It's what's going to run your VM. We're going to use VMware Player because it is free. and I just want VMware Workstation Player. It's the free version. If you have Pro, you already know what you're doing. So, this isn't for you. But we want the free version. Here, downloads. Little sheet. Free product downloads. And VMware Workstation Player. If you are on a Mac and you want to hack, that's fine. You want VMware Fusion Player. Where is it? There it is. So Workstation Player is going to be the free version. If you've got Linux like me, cool, do your Linux download. If you've got Linux, you know how to install a program. If you're on Windows, you download it and it'll walk you through an install wizard like every other program you've ever installed. Fusion. Hmm. Pretend like I know what I'm talking about with Fusion. But my understanding is it's supposed to be a free version. Zero day trial. Interesting. If you are using a Mac, VirtualBox might be your thing. And VirtualBox works fine. And made by Oracle. We just bought TikTok, in case you're curious. Go to their downloads. I know VirtualBox is going to work on your Mac. They've got options in here. So just find the Mac download. know it exists. I've heard about it. Hmm. Maybe it was there. Maybe it just wasn't paying attention. Windows? OS X. There you go. Okay. Bam. And it downloads as a DMG. And then you install it. Straightforward. All right, then what do we need? We need Kali, so we want a Kali VM. I'm gonna save you some easy steps. Installing an operating system is a pain in the butt, but what we want is not any of these Kali.org. We want to go to the, the real source, Offensive Security, Lin Kali Linux Custom Image Downloads. These are VMs that are already set up with all the tools you need to run in VMware or in VirtualBox. So. First option, VMware. Down here are your VirtualBox images. They are not the same. Pick the one that you, whatever hypervisor you're using. I'm going to use the Kali Linux VMware 64 bit. I doubt any of you guys have 32 bit systems because it's 2021. So pick the 64 bit. It's going to download. Then what do you do? Then you need your hypervisor. Um, I'm not going to walk you through how to install a program. I'll assume that you have some hypervisor, be it workstation or player or virtual box. I've got workstation from work. And I've got a Kali VM already set up. I'm going to pretend that I don't have a Kali VM. I'm going to go, when you download that VM, 
that virtual image, it's going to give it to you as a 7-zip. So you'll have a, a zipped file. And in this case for me, I'm on Linux, but this looks very similar. you got a downloads folder. You'll have like this, Kali Linux 7-zip. You're going to unzip it somewhere, however you unzip. Then you want to find your unzipped file, open a virtual machine, that goes faster. For me, I think it was still in downloads. So I've moved my, when I unzipped it, I put it in my documents under VMs in case I wanted it more. And I'm just going to open that. Grab this virtual or VMX. Click open. And it is all configured. It's already picked a certain amount of memory, some processors, hard disk. It's NATed the network. That means it's going to show up to your router like a whole nother computer. It'll have its own IP address separate from your IP address. And the display is going to auto detect, which is fine. You'll see it's going to kind of freak out on me because I've got a 4K monitor. But we don't have to do install anything. I just hit the play button. That's it. And now it's just going to boot up. You can hang on a little bit longer if you want. When it does boot up, all of the images from Offensive Security, default logins are Kali Kali. If you're just playing around for a hackathon, don't put any personal information in here. Just use it as is. Don't log into your Chrome accounts. Don't log into your Google accounts. Don't log into your bank from this VM. Use it just to maybe log in to try hack me or hack the box. And that's kind of it. Make this full screen. And up here, make a full screen again. Give it a second. It's still booting up. Hit Alt and Control if you want your cursor back. If you get stuck in like VM land, you're like, ah, my cursor won't do anything. Alt Control saves your life. And if you guys wanted, you could change your configuration before you hit the play button if you have buku memory and you want your Kali machine to use all of it go for it if you don't have very much memory and you want to make sure that your Kali machine actually runs and your whole system doesn't crash then modify it to whatever is recommended VMware is pretty good on that so my default credentials Kali and Kali we'll log in here I'll even show you what you do if you got a 4k laptop This dragon symbol up here on the left is your start. And what you're going to want to do is high DPI. Let's disable. No, keep it enabled. Okay, cool, that works. And you don't have to set up any network. It has this wired connection. That's what it thinks. VMware is handling all that. So you are in. Okay. Gonna cut this video and switch over to another one.